We have some breaking news in college sports for you to wake up to with the Pac-12 adding four schools this morning. The Pac-12 was left with just two teams after the latest round of realignment, but they're adding four new teams, Boise State, Fresno State, Colorado State, and San Diego State. So here is what it will all look like. Now keep in mind, per the NCAA rules, the Pac-12 has two years left to get back to a minimum of eight teams, and that clock is certainly ticking. So these moves also take the membership of the Mountain West down to eight teams. Pac-12X account is already giving a warm welcome to the new team, saying this on X. Good morning. It is a beautiful new day. Back the pack is what they have to say on social media. We say a warm, well, uh, warm welcome and good morning to our own Dennis Dodd, who joins us for the very latest about this news. Dennis, great to see you. These moves, though, didn't happen overnight. How did this all come together? Catch us up to speed here. Yeah, Jordan, good morning. Well, it never ends, right? Uh, we thought that the offseason was taken up with realignment. It is now leaking into the regular season to distract from football. This particular move really had been in the works for over a year since the uh, since the Pac-12 collapsed on August 4th, 2023. But only in recent months, about the last three months, did it really heat up that Oregon State and Washington State had a definitive plan to take the guts, if you will, the best of the Mountain West and cobble together a new conference. And as you mentioned, it is those six teams, they need eight to have an official conference. But one of the questions that needs to be asked is what, how far do they wanna go beyond that? Just eight, do they wanna go to 10? Do they wanna go to 12? Who's going to pay for it? This is going to be something that comes to market after July 1st, 2026 is when the new conference will start that will have some interest. The problem is Jordan in the market a lot of money is already spent. There's a UFC contract to be bid on. Um, NASCAR is already in the works. NBA has just been paid for. Uh, they got paid big time by, by a myriad of suitors. So what's left for this new conference? You know, I, I, the, the number 100 million has been tossed around. If they get the right combination of schools, they may get a little more uh, than the current Mountain West is getting, which is about five to seven million per school. But I think the big picture is that this conference stays together, the Pac-12, at least in, in name only. Uh, this is, the, let's be clear here, this isn't the Pac-12 of old. It's not going to be in the running and called a power four or power five again, but it is a very good conference. Well, so this, this move now gets the Pac-12 to six teams, right, Dennis? We know that they eventually have to get to eight. So who are the other teams um, that the Pac-12 could be targeting right now? Well, per my reporting right now, it looks like they're going to take, or at least interested in, schools from the American, Con American Athletic Conference, which is about their peer in terms of earning power, schools in that league west of the Mississippi for travel needs and obviously for fit. So you're talking about schools like Memphis, UT, UTSA, San Antonio, the up and comer, Texas, San Antonio, even Rice, you know, little old Rice that doesn't really do much in football, but is in the Houston market may have some interest. So I'd look for those. I, I think Air Force out of the existing mm. eight, I think we'll get to that. Uh, out of the existing eight in the Mountain West is going to be very um, attractive to some team, some conference or another. Uh, the American could get uh, Air Force and have the Commander in Chief's trophy under one roof, but that's going a little bit uh, a little bit ahead of things. But I'd look for those three schools. I don't think they're going to go as far as USF. That's been dangling out there. That's a I think that's a travel concern given what mm -hmm. just happened in the, in the Big West and the A. I'm sorry, the the Big Ten and the ACC. So I would look for those schools that I just mentioned. So when you look at all of the, the new talent, the new teams that this conference is now adding, let's, let's shift our focus to the football field. Where, in your opinion, would this Pac-12 group rank in the group of five with these new additions? Well, right about where the Mountain West does now. The Mountain West, at least perceptively, is the best of the group of five. It's got the best brands that are there right now, those 12 teams that together give it the best chance for getting access to the college football playoff. And what we're talking about, Jordan, is those top five ranked conference champions in any given year starting this year in the college football playoff automatically get in. Seeding is something different. 
but they automatically get in. And in most years, given its current composition, that would be the Mountain West champion. Now, that the Mountain West, as we know it, mm -hmm. is going away. So this lineup of teams that we're talking about with the additions from the American would be about on a par with that. So I think this conference would, would have supremacy over the rest of the group of five uh, that are below that group of four level and get that automatic berth in most seasons. So just to clarify there, Dennis, because you also mentioned you threw up a team like Air Force, right, possibly being another team to join this Pac-12 conference. So just to clarify, you think that the Mountain West could be in danger of going away? No, Air Force to the uh, to the American possibly. If they, they okay. already have Army and Navy and that would be, okay. you know, again, for them, they have the Commander in Chief's trophy under one okay. roof. But there's a very, I am hearing right now, there's a very real possibility that the eight teams remaining in the Mountain West just scatter and go their separate ways. Um, I don't know if they can cobble together something that would look like the Mountain West. In fact, whatever they get won't look like the current Mountain West. And I think if schools like Air Force have options that they will go their separate ways, I can tell you where they're going. I think you can make some assumptions. But a school like Hawaii, where the Mountain West currently subsidizes their travel, obviously, to the mainland, um, that's a huge burden, a huge cost for somebody if they take them on. So I think there's a, there's a chance that the existing Mountain West may go away. No shortage of no news uh, here as we enter week three of the college football season. Dennis Jod joining us here on the Morning Buzz CBS Sports HQ. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. You'll get to see one of the new members of the Pac-12 in Colorado State as they kick off their debut in this new conference when they welcome Shador Sanders and Travis Hunter to town as they face Colorado this upcoming Saturday. 7.30 Eastern on CBS and stream on Paramount+. Plus.